Mother Chopper is a boss you can challenge immediately after you finish Chapter 3. She has plenty of ranged attacks and a gnarly bite, something her children seem to have inherited. In this video, I will teach you how to whack this weed, never lose a fight against her ever again, and claim custody of your new daughter. A lot of Mother Chopper's attacks are indirect. She can spit both spores and heart seeds, and the former can put you to sleep. Her spores have a base damage of 2 on normal mode or 3 on hard mode. Heart seeds are 3 on normal and 4 on hard mode. These projectiles can be fired at anyone who is still standing in battle, so be sure to pay attention to who's being targeted. And she doesn't have to only target one bug either. She also fires more of these projectiles more consistently on hard mode. Especially beware of her pollen spores, as if they put you to sleep, you're gonna have a hard time waking back up if you take too much damage. And if you have only one bug left, you may as well be plant food. Her last attack involves biting the bug in the front of the formation for 6 damage, 7 on hard mode. This attack also steals your HP and adds it to her own. She can't heal more than the damage you take, so if you suffer a KO, she only heals the remainder of the HP you lost. Once her HP falls below 65%, she gains permanent hustle status and will attack twice per turn. That much is already a lot to digest, but we haven't even gotten to how her chompers work. In addition to attacking you and potentially spawning more baby chompers to fight, they can also buff other chompers attack or defense at random. It's worth noting also that if they try to spawn a baby chomper and fail, they will attack immediately after on hard mode or hardest mode. These babies also can buff other chomper. Finally, Mother Chomper will always be able to spawn another Chomper to fight alongside her if you knock out all of them by the end of her turn before immediately then attacking. Now that you know your opponent, it's time to know what your options are to deal with her. And truth be told, she's basically an even easier brood mother unless you're in Chapter 4 under hardest mode conditions. The tried and true combo of Agaric Shrooms and Kabu with Shock Trooper and constant taunt uses while favorite one is equipped is even more effective here. Not only does Mother Chopper lack a move to ignore taunt, like the delayed electric projectile that Broodmother has, but keeping Kabu while he's taunting out of the front completely eliminates one of Mother Chopper's attacks. She can't bite and steal your HP anymore. And since Kabu is numb and not taking damage, the occasional attack bonuses Mother Chopper receives are redundant. Her defense speed boosted can matter, but only if Leaf is attacking as Beast Hurricane Toss does more damage against foes with defense anyway, and it would boost to compensate both for her natural defense and boosted defense from the Chompers. You do sometimes want to use Frigid Coffin and let Beast charge stack before letting it rip though, but as long as you're patient, this is guaranteed to work. And if you're in Hardest, but not even in Chapter 4 yet, you don't even need patience. Just let V rip through like Hugh Neutron in a Crabgrass Invasion. And don't be afraid to use a charged ice fall to weaken the chompers or even outright eliminate them if they spawn a baby chomper behind Mother Chopper. She won't spawn anymore and the baby chomper behind hits less hard, has zero defense, and will be the only chomper the boss will have. Beyond all of that, you really don't need much else to win. I will say you are very much safe to start this fight with low HP and last attack or with power exchange as there is zero chance of RNG being able to swing the battle against you. The TP you get from Agaric Shrooms is also generally enough if used wisely, and you have Leaf Pitch in for damage. I mean, there are some worse alternatives like Hustle Candy, but you still have to use the turn to then Bubble Shield Light, and Agaric Shrooms are both more than twice as cheap to buy and satisfy protecting Kabu and restoring TP all in one item. Honestly, the only way you can really make this boss difficult is if you were to play with only one bug like in my solo bug runs, your selection of available medals are limited, or maybe you just haven't watched this video yet, because after watching this video, you should be a master by now. Because like Broodmother, you're already given all the tools necessary to guarantee victory on the opposite of reaching this boss. So pluck that flower and say hello to your newborn daughter. I named mine Princess as the title tradition, but how about you? Let everyone know in the comments down below. On this channel, Bug Fables has no shortage of videos you can watch, from myth busting to challenge runs to tutorials to even tier lists. If you want to have that itch that was bugging you scratched, be sure to subscribe, not really for yourself, but also for me, as I would love to reach 500 subscribers to unlock my community tab, and I need your help to do it. I'll see you on my next video.